Back. All came out while we were in pandemic. Yeah. Kazu is the first one to drop while we've had locos. That's crazy to think about. That's almost the end of the DLC pack. Yup. Yeah. Alright. We can talk more about that later. Right now we have, in fact, another one of these types of matchups where we got a Long Island player with Rock fighting off against one of the defenders tonight, Grunk King's own Pokelam. Now, I would I want to say Pokelam's the defender, but I wouldn't say he's exactly the defender of uh, Westchester because, like, no, he's the gang. And I think he's New Jersey. But Pokelam's been here enough, enough or I want to call him on our Westchester. I want to say that. Like, you got it. In the same way, like, Rock used to go to a lot of locals that were upstate in New York, up in uh, where he went to school. Rochester? Uh, Bing, I think. Okay. But, resident of Long Island, so, like, you can claim half season if upstate really wants to take him like that. Regardless, it's two good players, two good reps of New York, and two really solid reps of their characters. 100%. I know Pokelam's uh, Villager is a uh, sight to behold. Yeah, I'm a. I'm a big fan of Villager, big fan of Pokelam's Villager, but even then, like, this is a kind of matchup where, like, it really is a stressor of patience. Not just are you playing the Zoning War against the Samus, but Rock Samus in particular. He'll be able to harass you with, like, Zare at max distance, the missiles, various charges and charge shot. He'll go in when he's comfortable with it. Oh. You're not forcing him <laughs> in. <laughs> and I was about to say, like, he's probably, he's probably one of those Samuses who he does not approach you for anything at all. He said, you owe me money? I don't need that right now. <laughs> that over there. I'm trying to go and flip that up to you. Good punish. Yeah, no, that was a really sharp, like, landing from the up B. Pokemon positioned himself perfectly to punish. Now you got Villager with the lead on Smashville. Character's projectile is able to cover that center stage so well. You can box him outside. He's fine with giving up the platform. He's got projectiles that'll cover that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lamb definitely in a good spot right now. Not, not, not looking over spin, just holding his position and just keeping him out of here. Like, <laughs> yeah, this is the type of matchup that snowballs really hard, and right now it's snowballing in villager oh favor. Oh While that God. tree is up, he's fine. What? Yup. <laughs> you have to SDI the jab. Oh my yo! <laughs> That's rough. Oh, you see the smell coming up from yo. Right now he knows. He knows, yeah, I'm OD. I just did that. I'm oh. kind of sick. Oh my goodness, no! Bro, Rock tech the tree too, and it just left it him vulnerable for the bowling ball. It Oh. Like, it started off with such a- you were so right about a snowball. Like, like, it started off with such an even game. And then, Lamb just- he just- Rock just couldn't get it. He couldn't play his game. Both of these characters, they're infamous for being able to play their distance game because of their projectiles. But the tools they have for playing the in-game lets them box it out. So, they can get scrappy with it. So they can afford to have that lead and just get in your face to make that lead grow. My god. Like, look at this. Pokemon's so, still on first stock. He's trying to push forward. Yo. Bears and bears and an axe in hand. Oh, he had the Wolvie too, just to throw in the punish. This is. This is a show. Pokemon putting on a show right now. And that's gonna be it. No. If y'all ever wanted a reason to get excited for Villager, here you go. I am definitely the reason why. I, I was, I don't know, I knew it wasn't going to, but I was scared it was going to pop the shield. So it's, it's just, don't do it to me. Alright, let me go. We got a stock on the board. Alright, we got some life. And we almost had <laughs> that <laughs> run away! My Jeez! <laughs> Yo, calm down. It's not like you weren't here last week. I think was here last <laughs> week. <laughs> oh my goodness. Rock refusing to give up though. Just got to play this game out as slow as he can. I like that he's been harassing mostly with Zara because projectiles are just going to go blow for blow between these characters. You can't really do much about Samus and Zara. Great That's stall. Absolutely good stuff. Very solid game one from Pokemon. Wow, I just can't get over that second suck. <laughs> yeah, no, that shit was brutal. Woo wee. Like, rapid jabs against the tree, like. You have to SDI that up and out to get out because there's no reason for Pokemon to finish it. Why would he? He's all that free damage. Yeah, man. Like. I, I did not do a stage in one two. Let's see. I think I saw the token move upwards, so I think we're going to one of the battlefields. If I know Rock, you should be bringing him to regular battlefield. battlefield. Okay. Yeah. So hopefully, a lot more room for Samus to uh, pop a circle camp really to get her game thing going off. 
Yeah, plus like a lot of more of her tools are better suited for harassing on those plats. So if she can take back center stage, or if the fight is more along center stage, it's a big win for Rock. But the hard part is actually getting that started, because right off the bat, we got Pokey Lamb just setting up shop. He is comfortable. Not worried about Sam getting in their face or anything like that. Just little bits of pressure here and there. They don't want to really overextend. You saw how fast that game one ended up going from it kind of even battles to just all of a sudden all Pokeland's game. And like, and Pokeland's aware that like it could just as well happen the other way around. Yes, it can. Like the first stock in matches like these, the first stock is super crucial. Yeah, one thing to watch out for, the distance of the uh, plats on Battlefield is just enough space to harass with Bowling Ball. Villager shouldn't be on that top plat, but if he is, you still gotta be careful. You don't want to hold Bowling Ball, feeling like a cinder block's off in your forehead. Mm -hmm. wow, he's doing a better job. Okay, so we're gonna say, I, I just, let me just knock down. <laughs> he's doing a better job of uh, avoiding a lot of these uh, slingshots that was just harassing him in the neutral. No, uh, yeah, it's it, like Pokemon is able to cover just such a nice active space with those without really committing too hard. And ooh, that's something you don't see too often. Very nice coverage of the lead. That's going to give the slight lead to uh, to Pokemon. And if Rock isn't fast enough, we're going to see a repeat performance of Game One. Definitely are. I feel like this is not like a real, not like a real fun match with Samus. I feel like. Oh! Yeah, no. No, Lord have mercy. Yeah, no, he needs the damage. Yup. If you're not careful with Tree, the Tree is able to do a ton of shield damage between yeah. the Tree itself and then the Axe. That's completely forgot about that, too. So I would've gotten hit. The Village's Tree is actually probably one of my favorite projectiles in the game, next to Sephiroth's Shadow Flare. It's oh. such an odd trap, and Pokemon makes such good use of it. Oh, Ooh! Yeah, the dash attack. Yes, sir. Excellent. Now, Rock, he's bleeding a bit, but at least the stock count is even. He is still fighting. I haven't gotten hit by those bowling balls yet. I say yet. You say yet? I this right there, <laughs> man. Yo, right on cue. <laughs> Armor cue is free. Oh, just a little jab, okay. Rock just trying to stay right in Pokemon's face. You don't have to worry about the projectile pressure if Villager never actually has the room to breathe to put those projectiles out. I feel like the only thing you have to worry about is uh, up close Villager. It's probably just a dare. Yep. But other than that, it's not a lot of range. Samus got the long limbs. She's gonna range Villager. Right. Samus has got the tools to box and can afford to get aggressive the way that Rock is, even from a deficit. But as soon as we break her away from that, look at that. Instantly, the barrage of bears. The wonderful shield pressure, too. Why couldn't go nowhere? Talk about jail time. It's pinned <laughs> down in that location. Back there out of shield. Ooh. Okay, sneaky back here. Sign of life. Not giving up yet. That raising up there was so important for Pokemon. Otherwise, Rock would have just kept that pressure going until he could land it down there. Away and get past the tree, choosing not to interact with the tree at all. Well, you're just best off not interacting. If you're not interacting, you get Pokemon can set up shop. And I don't feel it's like, it's like, I don't know, it's bittersweet, like things you can do in the matchup. You don't want to interact. That was really good for F Smash. Um, you don't want to interact at all. You don't want to give, you don't want to give up. Oh, Pokemon has a chance to get a set up shop at all. So, so what? How do you how do you force this matchup? Yeah, it's just fighting from disadvantage is really rough with those rock, but I think he's choosing the right tools to do so. Like constantly charging up uh, charge shot while he's got the space to do it. He's approaching with Zare, which multiple times now Pokemon has gone to pocket expecting some sort of projectile to lead the way, and he's just sort of sitting there in recovery frames with nothing in hand. He is, uh, he's invisible during the startup of uh, the pocket, right? Yes. He's got some eye prints. And 
It's very useful for if he's retreating with it, because you can, like, wave bounce it, and it's pretty nice, but... It's, like, a more gimmicky thing to do in general. But just pocketing defensively is really good in this matchup, because you get the mines out of the way, you get the missiles. If you're lucky, you get charge shot, and charge shot with... Book Samus, but Rock has been very smart in mixing up his timings for his projectile pressure, so right there. Because of watering can, he didn't have to worry about it getting pocketed. He can afford to just let it rip. Yeah, lucky him there. Ooh, and that up smash is going to be doing it. That's two for two on up smash is catching some wayward movement options because of it. Pokemon takes the set 2-0.